Hey guys, Lindsay Bell here. We're back in Vampire of the Masquerade, and we're going to go into the sin bin and go find Chastity and murder her, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I want to go ahead and tell you guys that you will probably notice that, oh, oh, there we go, you'll probably notice that my voice actually sounds different. Um, first of all, I am actually over being initially, initially, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> I'm over being sick. I just have a stupid cough. Like, if you would know if, um, you, okay, you would know this if you watch my, the, what, oh, you stopped me and put my right in here. Okay, you would know this if you watch my Wolf Among Us stuff, the second episode. Now, this isn't me trying to say, go watch it or anything. I'm not going to make you guys watch it. If you don't want to watch it, you don't want to watch it. But, um, I had a cut out, cut out, but, um, I'm not even sure what just happened. But in that video, I had to cut out a lot of me coughing and everything. So, I mean, I'm over being sick. I just had this stupid cough that just will not go away for whatever reason. So, um, that's the only thing that's wrong. So I may have to cut out some coughing probably. I'm not sure because I've actually been doing kind of okay today. So we'll pretty much see how that goes. And he's about to be really pissed, I bet. But we'll see how that goes, and um, I ha I do have a new mic, and I actually have the pop filter on today. <laughs> Yay! Which, my pop filter is like a sock. <laughs> I don't feel like having to go pay for a um, pop filter when I can just say, here's a sock, let's put this on it. <laughs> it works. But, um... What am I looking for now? Oh, there's Chastity. But... <coughs> See, I actually had to get off coughing right there. Um... But yeah, the last video, it... it because I have a new computer, my old mic decided it didn't want to work on it anymore. And, um... So it decided it had to... Okay. So... So I had to start buzzing and everything every now and then. So I just had to go quit. So is he gone? Okay. So I had to go quick and get a new mic. I actually got one. Well, for you guys, it would be yesterday. Yeah. So. Can I actually do this? Hold on. So for you guys, it'll probably be yesterday. Bing, I'm gonna put this up. And, ooh, hola. Mine. What? Okay, there we go. Um, nice. Oh. Hold on. I hit, yes, I did. I hit shift. So, um, what was I saying? So I had to go and quick get a new mic, so my mic actually sounds better now. It was actually easy, because this mic wasn't really all that expensive. Well, at least to me, it wasn't all that expensive. Dude. You need to leave. So. And it's actually pretty good. I I did a few um, tests. Okay, so it's still... I can spell. Okay. So, um, I did a few tests, and it sounded okay to me, because I actually t tested it with quite a few different, I don't even know how to talk, with quite a few different headphones. Um, okay, so he's gone. No one was ever in there. He's gone. So, I tested it with quite a few different headphones. I know I just said this like three million times now, and it sounded okay with me, because a like, I tested it with my normal headphones like I'm using right now, which would be, um, my gaming headphones, and I tested it with, um, 
like another set of headphones that just want to think that um make things actually like a little bit louder. I don't know what's that. So it and then I tested it also with like some little cheap headphones that you can get like from buying an iPod or like you get like with your iPhone or something and okay so and it sounded to me it sounded all right holy hell I'm amazing so to me it sounded like it was all right it um I'll do it just in case someone sees you walk out but to me it sounded all right on all of those if it sounds like it's um off or something for you guys please let me know and I'll try to see what I can do to fix this I just I would love for you you guys give me feedback about that if I need to um switch anything I need to try to change levels or anything, so... <coughs> Excuse me. How about that? I had to take a quick cough break. Break. Hell. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. But, um... So, uh, just... Just let me know if I need to try and... Okay. If I need to try and fix anything. So, um... Anything else I need to say? I don't think so. Look who's back. Hi. Hi, Vivi. Couldn't stay away. Could no. You? I really couldn't, but first I need to tell you about this hunter. Mm -hmm. <gasps> She's dead. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine. And I won't forget that. There will be others. You'll have to do the same. It's unfortunate it had to be this way. Just a, just a human and a hunter. I actually had to stop for a second. I thought I was going to start coughing. I killed them off. I could. Um, it's unfortunate. Yes. But through this ordeal, I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Okay. Maybe I had another question. Don't count on it. Me too. I like this girl. She's amazing. Mm. You're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Don't worry. I won't. But I had a question. Mm hmm. Um. What's to do in Hollywood? Actually, I would like to know. Mingle, sightsee, chat, and me, of course. She choked me up. <laughs> God. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me about yourself now. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. All you can say, baby. Um... I doubt, well, I doubt that's her real name, but let's see. It yeah. is now. Um, how'd you become a kindred? I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. Uh, it's probably a traumatic experience or something. Me too. Another question. Um, mm hmm So you're a stripper, huh? Oh. I don't call them strippers. I call them dancers. Or... Entertainers, it's the nice way to say things. Saying you're a stripper, just it, it's just nicer to say dancer or entertainer. That's what I do. I'm a dancer, I know, but I had to. There's really nothing else to choose. I wanted to get every option, but don't worry, you're always a dancer. Um, yes, of course. I have another question. Um, is there another one? I thought. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just nothing else. Okay. Poor, what? poor David Hatter. What? Who? 
David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's writing a movie about the Bush administration. They're making another Share Bears movie. A movie about gaming industry. He stole my idea! How dare he? We need to kill him now. <laughs> but no, we, we knew about this. Oh, he's writing about Kindred. I knew I was coming back. I, I, I just, I knew it. Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to kind Death? Is? Oh, <laughs> A sound beating, death, a hundred fifty dollar fine, <gasps> no Xmas bonus. Oh Lord, I know it's just death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. Oh, no. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David. And I'm too close to do what needs to be done. Mm. So you want me to kill him? You want me to kill him? And you're asking me to destroy... Uh, she's just asking me to destroy it. She doesn't say anywhere. And they're killing him, so... I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay. And somehow, you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. Okay. Oh well. Um, sounds pretty serious. I'll straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. He loves to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name. Help. I am good at persuasion. Um, to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. Oh, Lord. I'll come back with a screenplay. When you say complete attention, do you mean like what I had with Jeanette that one time? Because that was amazing. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see the visible wall there. Oh, Lord. But actually, before we go to the Lucky Star Hotel... I'm going to go across the street from it and go set up those cameras real fast. Okay. So we're going to go do that first. And after I'm done with all that and done with her, I'm going to go in there. I mean, probably you're going to have to cut out the sound when I go in there because of freaking music. I'd rather not get in trouble with YouTube. Oh, the But, um, how long have we been going so far? Uh, mm. Okay, sorry about that. I actually. Wait, there's something. I actually had to. <laughs> I actually had to get a new phone today, so yay! But I, it's actually good. I actually ended up getting an iPhone C. And, um, because I had an iPhone 4. And. I had it for since like 2008, so you do the math on how old that photo is. Holy shit! Um, God, yeah. So you can do the math on how old the phone is. And the guy, when I took it there, he was like befuddled pretty much at how old that phone was and how long I had it. Because he's just like, you do realize that these phones are only supposed to last two to three years because like what had happened what happened was my um phone it just it stopped like working like the screen stopped working so it wouldn't display so the la uh, bleh, so come on okay how would you not see that whatever 
So the screen start, stopped working and you couldn't see it. Like, I had, oh my god, I'm saying like so much. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Bathroom and then the kitchen. So, um, what's this? Yeah, you stay over there. Fuck, 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 fuck. She scared the shit out of me. Okay, I guess it is there. That would be on a counter or something or under that or whatever. I ain't gonna argue with it. But, like, kind of did it again. Whatever. But my screen stopped working and, like, I couldn't get it to turn on. I actually thought my phone had died. Because it's like, um, oh, I forgot what she said the password was. Let's just hack it if I can. But, oh yeah, it's for Patrick. So the screen wasn't working and I thought it was dead. So I charged it. Nothing happened. I had my dad actually call my phone to see if, okay, to see what was going on. So he called my phone and my phone was ringing. But it wasn't even his ringtone. It was like a default ringtone because the ringtone I have for him is the San Sons of Anarchy um, theme song because he loves that show. And, um... So, I was like, okay, not only is my screen not working, none of my ringtones are working, so that's not good. So, I went and we took it in, because my dad came with me, since he was around. And we took it in, and pretty much, they said because it was so old, you can go ahead and get upgraded and everything. And they actually got, I don't know what they did, they worked their magic, they got the phone to work, they got my old phone to work and screen turn in, because of that, I got like $100.00. For trading it in to this phone, so instead of paying like a hundred something, I only paid like ninety nine dollars for this new phone. And so far, I love it. And I actually got to pick the background of my phone. And sadly, they didn't have purple, so I had to get pink. I want a purple so bad because if you couldn't tell, purple is my favorite color. Maybe, but yeah, purple is my Lucky favorite color, you. and then like pink comes after it. <laughs> So, that was the story of my phone. I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're going to keep going. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't want to keep coughing. Um, oh yeah, that's right. We have dead bodies. Uh, uh, hold on. Did you know there's a dead body in one of your rooms? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up to protect and serve, right? <laughs> Me? Okay. Mind if I hang here for a while? Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. This, this is the kind of place where writers go to study human behavior, man. It, it's invaluable. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, what do you write? Even though we does know this. Does he write, or does he just like ink the flotsam right, and just, jetsam floating just, in some We know this because we already talked about it. I need, um, there we go, number four. I heard you're working on a vampire script. I need to get the script from him. Me? I'm like looking to redefine Okay, we know about this part. Movie, okay? Um, hold on. All right, do you have a copy? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Um. Uh, oh, there's pink. I think writers are so cool. Could I borrow it? <laughs> of course. I, I hope you find it a... Stimulating reading. wish. <laughs> Thanks. Say, did you have any collaborators on this? I really can't talk. You about better tell me right now. Oh, there we go. Come on, you can tell me. Okay, okay. He's a guy. He calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. Thanks. I'll be leaving now. 
Anything else? Night eating you? The way around. Okay, we're gone. All right. So, wait. What did he say I had to do again? I'm sorry. I really was not paying attention. Oh Lord. Please forgive me. Okay. Nice ass. Um. Cute. All right. I need to go back to her. I'll go back there later. I gotta go back to my haven. I'll go to Chinatown after a while when I get done with all this. Alright. Oh, I gotta, okay. So I gotta go to Santa Monica anyways. So when I get done with... Oh, this one of Thin Bloods. Okay, so when I get done with one of these, with this, or at least get done talking to this person, I'm gonna go to my haven. And... Okay, this over here. And see, um... What he wants me to do. Alright. Hello. Where to? Drive. I tell you when the mood hits me. <laughs> All right, go there. Oh my! But so far, I'm loving the phone. I like the fact that the screen is so much bigger. Yes, I just started talking about my phone again. Oh well. <laughs> Get over. I'm using my phone as my timer, so I gotta look over there for every now and then. Um. Oh, good lord. Alright, I gotta go this way and go to the beach. Oh! Quick! Hold on, let me do this just so I don't actually hit a button. Because I have since hit the button. Um, but yeah, real quick. Today, I saw the Lego movie. Amazing! Have any of you seen it? Like, yet? Or, you know, for the people in the future, y'all probably would have already seen it, but, um,. Have any of you guys seen it? And what did y'all think about it? I, I really loved it. I actually... <coughs> hold on. Again, sorry for the coughing. I actually went and saw it in the 3D. Since that was the only thing that was playing at the... Oh, fuck, it's him. But it's playing at the time when I um was going over to the movie theater. I just want to get away from the music right now. It was the only thing that I was actually playing when I went to the theater, because if I wanted to see just like the regular like 2D, it was going to be like another hour and I wasn't going to wait that long. But I saw it, and I saw it in the 3D, and it was amazing. <laughs> spaceship. I love that part when he just started screaming spaceship over and over. If you haven't seen it, you have no clue what I'm saying. Go see it, and then come back and laugh. <laughs> what, 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 what do, you, do you want? Um, <laughs> goodness, hold on. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Are you sure about that? Mm. Have you been telling Mortal about us? Please, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, I didn't mean to. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. See, I, I, I actually kind of felt bad. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny right there. But I actually feel bad for him. Because it is true. He does not really know what he is. Because one, he is a thin blood. And the other rest of the vampire society pretty much says, Fuck you. Go away. We're not going to talk to you. We're not going to tell you anything. So he had no one to help him. He didn't have a, his sire or anything to help him explain him what he is. The rules and everything. No one was there to tell him. So I feel bad for him that I'm having to come and do all this to him. When he does not know anything, pretty much. I don't really want to kill him. Because, yes, for doing this, you're supposed to go kill the guy. Or girl. Whoever does it. But I don't want to kill him because I feel bad for him. Because he has nobody to help him. Ugh. <sighs> Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm so, so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. Um, no, oh, the punishment is death. No, 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 oh, God, God, 
don't want to kill you! They're not my rules! Please, find your heart! Please, find your heart! You're making this difficult. You, you, you could let me go? I, I, I promise, I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles, I swear. Oh, I want, I want, I want him to leave. But I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want anything from him. Just do. Just get out. Uh, I, I don't have m much. I, I, just, just some, some money. A uh, hundred bucks or something. I don't want your money. There we go. First one. Keep it. But you leave immediately. You come back to LA. I will kill you. I will. I, I, I. Then I just. Dumb. I'm sorry, then he's just a dumbass for coming back. I mean, I feel bad for him, but if he was to come back, he's just a dumbass then. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Remember, Julius, never come back in this lifetime. Leave immediately. Watch him run. Run after him. Make sure he actually leaves. There he goes. He's booking it. He's gone. Hold on. Goodness, I'm trying so hard not to cough. It's just, you know, during the day it's not so bad. It's just when it gets towards nighttime, it really starts to get bad. Like, any, any later than this, it'll get worse. So, okay. Um... Right before I do that, I'm going to go to my haven <sighs> and check my email and hello cop and see what he wants me to do. Actually, hold on, that's a lie. I'm going to go to the hospital first and stock up on blood and then go to my haven and um, check and see what I need to do. So I'm going to go get blood first, then go to my haven, read the email, and I will... Um, Probably end it there because it's like what 26 27 minutes now? Yeah, so after oh, so after I get blood and check my email, I will go do I'll it's end a mesmerizing it. liquid, isn't it? The color, the bouquet, the form. When I was a kid, I used to wait for the snap of the rat trap. It would trickle out of the animal's face and ooze just far enough to coagulate around the cheese. A poetic death. But, why? Why? Why, why do you have to tell me this? I don't care. Can I sell stuff? Can I? Oh, I actually can. Can Screenplay. That stuff I need to keep because that's all. Stop. Um. Alright. Oh, no. Okay. Give me all your blood. Give me all that blood. I don't care that I spent a bunch of money, but I need the blood, and uh, it's really all I'm going to be spending my money on anyways. It's just mainly blood. And I guess possibly another outfit, maybe one more for when I go to Chinatown, because since apparently I've been getting outfits each time I go somewhere, so <sighs> we'll see. That's probably all I'll be spending money on anyways. Because, I mean, I barely use any ammo or anything. I'm more of using, like, the sword or something. Or the sledgehammer. So, let's go in here. Um, oh, I'm gonna check my mail slot real f quick. And then go upstairs and check the email. So, anything? Of course not. So, let's see. Let's go up here and... Hold on. Sorry. And I'll do this. I forgot! 
all about you. Oh my god. I forgot all about her. Let me check the email real fast. And then I will talk to her. Still around. Oh, Bertram. If... If you're reading this, I guess you're still among the undead. Got a proposition for you. If you're not too busy, you know where to find me. It won't be too difficult. I need to see him anyways. Because he's got a... Um... What? 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 Um, you want to explain uh, something to me? You're back. I, um, I went out this evening and I, well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I, he came back here with me and, well, I thought you might want to, you know, want to drink his blood. No, isn't that cute? <laughs> Aw, I love coming home to find dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. Oh, I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. Hmm, I go help myself. Um, real quick, how did you lock him in? How? How? I I actually would love to know how. Hi. What the hell is this shit? Let me out, goddammit. I'll kill that crazy bitch. You're not gonna touch her. There you go, you'll do no such thing. She is mine. As soon as I get out of here, I'm calling the goddamn cops. Let's see what they think of this, huh? I'll have them lock up both your asses. Oh, uh, really? Ooh, maybe I could use a drink? Yeah, I could use a drink. What the hell does that mean? Wait, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Hey! <laughs> Come here. I've got a secret to tell you. <gasps> oh my god, I just looked over and, like, my dog Padme, she's laying in the bed next to me. And she's like, just, she sat up, looked at me, and then laid back down and covered her paw. Covered her paw? Oh. Hell, covered her face with her paw like I'm going to sit over here and hide. You're making too much noise. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please, Master. Just a few drops. Oh, goodness. Mm, yes, of course. Come here. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Oh no, you're you're pretty important, don't worry. Isn't that cute? Can I make her do anything? Master? Dump his body somewhere and kiss like oh. Hmm. Have I actually made her change her appearance? I can't remember. Oh, well, let's try it again. Okay. Oh. When I get back, I hope I'm in for a pleasant surprise. I like it dark and gothic. Hmm. Let's see what a pleasant surprise is. You gonna be naked when I come back or something? Okay, I know I said I was going to end it right here, but hold on, let me go, um, do this so fast. So, take that, um, and give it that, because I think that's what it was. Walk out. Um, and yeah, I'm going to come out here and probably, yeah, I'm going to end it, because I'm at 30, yeah, 37 minutes. So, I'm going to end it over here, and when we pick up, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go see him real fast, and, oh, I guess I could do that while I'm here, too. I've still yet to get this to work, so I'm not even going to bother with trying to do this. So, that's what we'll do next time. This is an awkward ending, so I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go. <laughs> so, bye.
bye guys see you next time